The 1982 TV series, Fame, burst onto screens, captivating audiences with its portrayal of aspiring artists navigating the rigorous world of performing arts. Whether it was your initial encounter with this series or a cherished memory linked to its storyline, Fame held a special place in many hearts, resonating with the pursuit of dreams amidst the complexities of life. Before delving into personal recollections, it's fascinating to note that Fame wasn't just a show, it was a cultural phenomenon. Its depiction of raw talent, ambition, and the trials faced by students at the New York City High School for the performing arts struck a chord with viewers worldwide. The series illuminated the struggles, successes, and friendships forged within this competitive and passionate environment. Now, thinking back, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience associated with this captivating series? We'd love to hear your stories and recollections in the comments below. Share your moments that shimmer with nostalgia and inspiration. When Janet Jackson left the show in 1985, her career took off with the release of her hit album, Control. Madonna, who auditioned for the series, didn't make it, but her tape can be found on YouTube. Alan Parker, the director of the original film, disliked the idea of the show, but had no role in its production. These instances shed light on the show's connections to big names in the entertainment industry during that time, impacting their careers in various ways. The series, despite Parker's reservations, went on to become a cultural phenomenon, leaving a mark on both television and the careers of its aspiring stars. Janet Jackson revealed a challenging experience during her time on the series. She confessed feeling like an outsider among the more outgoing cast members, often subjected to incidents like her breakfast disappearing without explanation. Despite her initial reluctance to join, she persevered for familial reasons. This glimpse behind the scenes sheds light on the less glamorous aspects faced by certain actors. The show's journey wasn't without its hurdles. Initially aired on NBC Thursday nights, low ratings led to its cancellation. However, the series found a second wind in syndication, running successfully for multiple seasons beyond its initial network run. This shift in broadcasting marked a turning point, proving the show's resilience despite its early setbacks. Tragic events also impacted the show's cast, Gene Anthony Ray, a notable figure, faced personal challenges leading to his departure. His mother's imprisonment due to involvement in a drug ring and repeated absences from work culminated in his dismissal from the series. Such incidents mirrored the tumultuous nature of some cast members' lives beyond the screen. These behind-the-scenes revelations and challenges underscore the complexity that often exists beyond the fame and success portrayed on television. They offer a glimpse into the personal struggles and dynamics that affected the actors involved, shaping the course of the show's narrative and its eventual impact. Janet Jackson's brief stint on the iconic 1982 TV series shed light on the challenges faced by the cast. In her role as Cleo, she claimed mistreatment by producers, leading to her early departure. This wasn't the only hurdle for the show. Low ratings initially led to cancellation on NBC Thursday nights. However, a successful run in syndication marked a resilient comeback. Behind the scenes, the cast faced personal struggles. Gene Anthony Ray, a prominent figure, left due to his mother's imprisonment and work-related absences. Such off-screen challenges mirrored the series' narrative complexity. Interestingly, the character Miss Berg, typically a dance teacher, played an unexpected role as an elderly secretary. Also, Erica Gimpel's absence in the first season's final episodes was due to completing her high school education. These facts offer a glimpse into the less glamorous aspects of Fame's production, showcasing the personal dynamics and struggles that shaped its narrative. The series, despite setbacks, left an enduring impact on television and the careers of its aspiring stars. Debbie Allen's pivotal role in both performing and choreographing for the series added a unique dimension to the show's essence. Her commitment to the Broadway production of Sweet Charity during the final season led to an ingenious adaptation by the show's producers. To accommodate her schedule, they filmed all her scenes in New York City, resulting in her presence only in exterior shots for several episodes. In an insightful interview with Emmy TV legends, Allen confirmed her dual role as both an on-camera actress and the show's choreographer. Her decision to join the series was heavily influenced by her passion for choreography, showcasing her immense talent both behind and in front of the camera. The show's innovative blend of musical performances and dramatic sequences captivated its audience, resonating particularly with young viewers. 
This unique fusion prompted the cast to hit the road, performing live concerts and connecting directly with the enthusiastic fan base, enriching the viewing experience beyond the screen. This dynamic combination of Alan's multifaceted contributions and the show's fusion of music and drama helped shape its distinct identity, leaving a lasting impact on television and the entertainment industry. When Nia Peoples joined the series in 1984, producers disclosed that about 9,000 people had auditioned for roles. This staggering number hinted at the immense popularity and allure of the show, drawing aspiring talents to try their luck in securing a part. This insight offers a glimpse into the competitive nature of casting for the series, showcasing the intense interest it generated among actors aiming to join the ensemble cast. The sheer volume of auditions reflects the show's significance and the widespread enthusiasm it sparked within the entertainment industry. As the series progressed, new faces like Peoples added depth to the narrative, contributing to the evolving dynamics within the cast. This fascinating revelation sheds light on the show's casting process and the massive pool of hopefuls vying for a chance at stardom within its storyline, revealing the intense competition behind the scenes. The TV series, spun off from the movie, diverged in certain key aspects. While the movie was largely shot in New York City, the series found its home primarily at MGM Studios in Culver City, California. However, a notable tradition persisted. Each season incorporated trips to New York for filming exterior scenes ahead of the rest of the episodes shooting in Los Angeles. One intriguing alteration from the movie to the series involved Lydia, a character originally portrayed as a student in the movie's auditions. When Debbie Allen joined the series two years after the movie's release, the role of Lydia transformed. Initially intended as a peer and rival of Coco's, the character's evolution shifted from student to a dance teacher in the series, prompted by editing choices in the movie that inadvertently portrayed her as a teacher. The adaptation of settings and characters between the movie and the series showcased the creative shifts and adaptations made to align the storyline and characters with the evolving vision of the show. As our journey through the captivating world of that renowned series draws to a close, it's a time for introspection. Fame, with its vibrant rhythms and stories, has woven itself into the fabric of our cultural memory. What's your unique connection to this iconic show? Perhaps it's a character who inspired you or a moment that left an indelible mark on your heart. Share your cherished memories, those resonating scenes or melodies that still echo within you. These narratives transcend time connecting us across generations through the universal language of aspiration, passion, and dedication. Your reflections breathe life into the legacy of fame, forging a collective tapestry of reminiscences that celebrate the pursuit of artistry and dreams. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and sentiments, for allowing the spirit of fame to live on through your experiences. Your engagement keeps the essence of this remarkable series alive and thriving. Until we meet again to explore the realms of creativity and nostalgia, thank you for your time and your boundless enthusiasm for all things artistic.